Hey, buddy. So we're up here at the corral system right now. We're going to freeze brand some heifers today. This year we're going to be using a different method. We're going to use liquid nitrogen uh, instead of dry ice. So it's something new for us and we're going to see how it goes. getting set up getting all of our uh, equipment set up we've got the cattle over here in the corral and we're almost ready to go we've got the nitrogen tank the brands and some styrofoam coolers that we're going to use so Scott's going to pour some of the liquid nitrogen into these coolers that we have and we have to let the brands get good and cool before we start using them. And they recommend about 20 minutes to let your brands get completely cold. So we know we've got to have it about an inch up over the number. And you can't really see how deep it is in the cooler because of the steam or smoke coming off of it. You better put the stopper back down in there so it won't evaporate. What do you think, Erin? Let me see. I see it bubbling. It's definitely under it. It's up. It's up on the. It's up on it a little bit. This one over here, you'll probably get good results. I can see you've got a real good pour in it. They say that it quits bubbling once it gets to temperature. We're gonna use the generator to power our clippers, so it might be a little wild. Yep. Hello, ladies. Thank you. 
denatured alcohol where you've trimmed the hair where you've cut the hair so that it makes good contact since we're using liquid nitrogen we hold the brand for 25 seconds The numbers need two minutes back in the liquid nitrogen before you use that number again. Down to five seconds. Tattoo girl, so that just makes the hair grow in white. I just went Go ahead, Ransom, spray her. You need to spray the denatured alcohol before you place each number so that you get good contact with the brand.
Okay, down to five. We found that the one really puts down a, a good ice pad and it doesn't take as long for it to freeze, I guess because there's not as much material there to get cold. So she's gonna be zero one one. So we've got to wait a couple of minutes to put her next number on. I would just like a second or two. Five seconds. Okay. Well, they're all branded and they're back out in the pasture and they seem to be doing well. It was pretty uneventful, but overall, I think that we like using the dry ice method better than we do the liquid nitrogen. We'll see the, what the results uh, look like in a few months and see how they look and we'll go by that. Um, so maybe there are some pros and cons to each way. Um, it definitely takes less time to use the liquid nitrogen. Uh, versus the dry ice, but just want to see what the results look like before we totally decide. That's it for this episode of The Cattleman's Wife. We sure appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You'll receive notifications when our new videos post. Thank y'all for watching. Till next time, God bless y'all.